beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, last week we had so much fun. I did a huge 36 by 36 uh, chaos blowout inspired by my friend Erica Hughes, who will be at Fluid Art Boutique with us. And um, I kind of want to do it again. So tonight we're doing a 24 by 24. I have some beautiful colors and we're going to use my Makita mini leaf blower with the progressive trigger again. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm actually looking forward to this a lot. Like I said, that's a 24 by 24. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors, that color that is gonna be my base coat color. Let me show you the colors because they're really, really beautiful. The first one we're using is Amsterdam greenish blue, which I love. I love this color. It's so pretty. I really enjoy this one. This one seems a tiny bit thick. I'm going to thin it out just a smidge. Because we are doing a chaos pour, we want our paint thin so that it moves easily with the leaf blower. So I am also using Erica's pouring medium again tonight, which is 75% American Floetrol and 25% gel gloss. Golden's gel gloss. So that's what this is. And I did add water to it to get it to this consistency. One of the things that she had said in her videos was that when you pour the paint off the stick, it kind of looks like it's just holding still. Like it just sort of stays in one place, which is kind of cool. So it's not really sinking and it's not making a mound. It's just right there on the surface. So that's our Amsterdam greenish blue. Then we are using Amsterdam permanent blue violet, which I love. I love this color. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then we are using my other new obsession, <laughs> my copper obsession revisited in Amsterdam bronze. That's an old obsession. Yes, it is. But I love this color. Look how pretty that is. You just even in the cup. How gorgeous. Okay, Amsterdam That's a bronze. Thick too, huh? Maybe just a smidge. And then our surprise one for tonight is Amsterdam's Pearl Blue. So I had played with these. There was a split cup pour that I did inspired by my friend Fiona Art, who does amazing, amazing things. And I decided to use this one instead of white tonight. So, and the trick to these to get them to show up seems to be to use them on top of darker colors. So we will be using the greenish blue as our base coat color right here. And this dries a lovely dark color. And I think the pearl blue is gonna show up really, really pretty on that and especially on top of the permanent blue violet. So, okay. So the game plan is we're gonna do a little chaos pour over here and blow it out and a chaos pour over here and blow it out and then we're going to put our base coat down in the middle and then we're going to blow it towards each other. So this is going to be really fun. Let's get started. Um, okay, so with the chaos pour, part of the reason I like these is because you're just pouring paint and having fun and enjoying yourself and it's a lovely good time. So there's some of our greenish blue. I'm going to put some of our bronze in there. some of the permanent blue violet in there. That's bronze, not copper? It's bronze. You it's think you call it copper? It's Amsterdam before. bronze, but it looks like golden's copper. Okay. Okay, and Sorry. now we're going to come in with the pearl blue. Okay. Let's blow this side out. I'm going to put this away. So we can get HOA dirty. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last. Okay, here we go. Is 
definitely easier on a 24 by 24. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna bother with this edge yet because we're gonna get there in a minute. I think last time when I did it on the 36 by 36, I had this part coming out much further. So when I blew out the tentacles, they were almost touching and I don't want that to happen this time. This is already, oh God, can you look at that? It's okay. okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with the greenish blue again. This is the base. And then I'm gonna put some bronze on there. husband of awesomeness. Alright, lass. Did I tell you I went back and I watched that uh, mm -hmm. Feeling Groovy, which was the very first one we did with the leaf oh, yeah. blower? Oh my god, it was so funny the first the gardener, time. The gardener's pour? Yeah. The first time I squeezed the trigger, I squeezed it so hard. And it went, whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, oh! And I was like, HOA has a Gallagher shield up in front of him. It was pretty funny. Okay, now we're going to put this down. Right here in the center. And we're going to blow that out. So this is looking really good now. And I'm happy that there's a wider area because that just gives me room, more room to blow up this way. Um, I'm not gonna torch it yet. Okay, so we have a lot of the pearl blue and the bronze. I think I wanna come in with just a little bit more of the permanent violet dark. I'm not gonna be using any more of the blue. pearl blue in a couple of areas. And I think we're okay on the bronze. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start this way first, HOA, yeah? Yeah. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Hi, lass. Are you ready? The reason I brought up that very first leaf, uh, leaf blower pour was because I learned don't squeeze it hard. <laughs> you have amazing control with this, but don't hit it too hard. Okay. I think the thing's Ooh. coming loose. There we go. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay. I think we need a little bit more over here. Yellow's clean. Okay. That's looking really pretty. I love that. I love that just the wispy bits of bronze and I really like that pearl blue in there. And I think I want to give it one more puff over here and over here because there's kind of a lot of the pearl blue right there, yeah? Yep. That's looking cool. And now I still have space on that side, which makes me very happy. Okay, so we're gonna turn this. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Turn it around. And there you go. Well, I don't know. Do you think it needs some going? I love these little cells that are happening. What do you think, HOA? Um, lots to love. Um, I'm wondering about like the corner over there closest to you. Mm -hmm. Is there? Can I get some paint to go over there? Probably yeah. not. <laughs> I mean, I could get this little corner. But actually, I don't mind this corner and that corner being negative space. It's okay. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean all the way. <clears throat> I just a little. Right. I guess I was asking if I should blow this way a little bit more. I don't think like so. Like right here, there's a solid part of purple, so I do want to blow that out. Okay. Right in there. Ready? Yes. Okay, I actually really like this. It's really, really pretty. Kind of a peacocky sort of vibe with the bronze in there. I really love that bronze. I mean, it's so pretty. It kind of looks almost gold, almost copper. Just really beautiful stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put this back and we need our torch out. Guess what? What? I see fjords. <laughs> More fjords. <laughs> Very colorful fjords. Okay. Are I you love liking fjords. it? You like it though? I do. Okay, cool. I do too. Alright, let's torch it.
I'm just gonna touch this like beak and drag it up a little bit. I'm gonna touch this one and drag it up. I might do that in a few different places. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Right here. I don't like it when it's kind of a blunt edge. I like it more when there's like wispy bits. <laughs> wispy. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is looking pretty good to me. I'm happy. HOA, you're happy? Oh yeah. Okay. Bruh, so, bruh. This is looking pretty good. I will show you guys on Sunday when it is dry. Thank you so much for being here. And I will also show you the last pour that we did, which wasn't dry in time to show you. <laughs> the uh, Gale Force one. So this is cool. Thanks for being here with us tonight. We'll see you real soon. Have a great night. Okay, so here is the dried results from Gale Force. This was our wandering split cup. It gave us these really beautiful lines. But you guys, this bronze. This part right here is just so cool. It's like so 3D looking from where I'm standing. I hope you guys can see that effect. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> so I love this. I love these colors. Hello, Gail. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I will go and get the uh, chaos blowout that we did today. Unfortunately, I did drop my stick in it, which I'm not real happy about. So, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, it looks fantastic. Let's go take a look. Okay. So it's a couple days later. It's not completely dry, but it's dry around the edges. I really like how this one turned out. These are so much fun, these chaos blowouts. And I'm really loving the pearl blue in there. It's just doing kind of magical, ghosty looking things. Very shifty. Beautiful cells over in this part. Really fun stuff. That gorgeous greenish blue when it's dry. You can see what it looks like in the middle when it's wet still. I really like this. I love this piece. Very, very happy with it. Um, I did unfortunately drop my stick on it, which really bummed me out. But I don't know. I might be able to do something over there. <laughs> um, but I like this a lot. I love the way the permanent blue violet looks. I love that greenish blue. It's an awesome color. The bronze, of course, very blingy. And as it gets drier, it will bling even more. And that other one, Gale Force, you saw how amazing the bronze looked. <laughs> so this is cool. I am very, very happy with this one. Uh, I might be doing some more of these because they're a lot of fun. But thanks for being here with us today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, I was talking to Sarah Mack this morning and kind of realized that I'm leaving for FAB in five days. And I was like, oh my God. Um, excitement lots of excitement and um god i hope i don't forget anything so <laughs> uh we are working hard and packing everything up and getting everything ready to take with us that i'm going to take and you know there are still some spaces available in some of the classes so please do check out our website at www.fluidartboutique.com and uh I really hope we see you guys there. Um, I'm also teaching in November at Fluid Art Experience. 
So if you can't come to Florida, maybe Dallas is closer. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Let us dance this night away.